After 40 years of construction, the third mainland bridge, Africa's second longest bridge, would be shot down in less than 24 hours. Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Mary Chinda, visited the area to assess the level of preparedness by relevant stakeholders, including commuters. Her report. It is the 11.8 kilometer bridge in the heart of Africa's commercial city, Lagos. Now, this bridge on a normal day takes about 117,000 cars every day in Water Island and out Water Island. But with the government getting ready to shut down this bridge, how would Lagosians deal with the traffic? The Federal Control of Works in Lagos State says a lot has been put in place to contain the attendant traffic. That right side lane, that's the outward island. That's why we're closing partially for the first three months. So traffic coming to the island from Oboronsoko end, we use their normal route to go into island. At the close of work, they will still use the same route to go back to the mainland. Third mainland bridge was constructed over 40 years ago. And uh, we have not changed some of the components that we want to change now. The section that we changed before, where we did the periodic maintenance in 2012, is not where we want to carry out the uh, maintenance of the expansion joint and the bearing. Some people that probably want to use Third Mainland before, they can take Ikorodu Road through Western uh, Avenue and come to Igamu, then follow it to Ido, Oyibo and still link up with uh, Bonny Camp, then enter the island. Omoto Yossi is a commercial bus driver who uses the third mainland bridge. He is one of the almost 120,000 drivers daily who would be affected by the closure of this bridge. This is a very long period of time. It's very long. At the Sector Command Office of the Federal Road Safety Corps, we find the new Sector Corps Commander and his officers and, sure and men raising up for like I this said, it's not special going to be task. Play. It's going to be enormous, it's going to be huge, but I believe we are all up to the task. Yes, sir. So this headquarter is already taking care of your welfare, so there's nothing to fear. I also did a kind of simulation, mini simulation on the bridge yesterday to confirm how convenient the detour into the diversion will be, the first and the second, because virtually the vehicle coming outward Lagos Island will still make use of the bridge, but there will be a detour at the base of Adeniji Adele. Meanwhile, the third mainland bridge doesn't seem to be the only bridge that is being partially shut down. The adjoining Marine Beach Bridge, Apapa, is also being cordoned off for major repairs after 40 years of use. This small place they have been doing here, we have taken them almost four, two or three months, just a very small portion of area. They're supposed to fix it so that commuters will go freely. According to engineer Bukwola, though this would be a tough one for commuters using the bridge, the decision was absolutely necessary for safety of road users in Lagos. The contract for this project was awarded uh, last year in uh, October, and immediately the contractor moved to site and they started doing the cleaning of the surrounding so that the platform that we have seen now will be able to move in and jack up the deck. Now people have been saying the contractor moved to site, they have not been working. We came here in May when we carried out the partial closure of this uh, marine bridge. And since then the contractor has never moved out of sight. One thing that is certain is that commuting from the mainland to the island is going to be a tough one for Lagosians within the next few months. From the Marine Bridge Bridge in Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. <laughs>